Top 15 Most Beautiful Places to Visit in Sicily Sicily is the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea and an autonomous region of Italy. It is located just off the toe of the Italian peninsula and is separated from the mainland by the narrow Strait of Messina. Sicily has a rich and diverse history, being a crossroads of various civilizations and cultures over the centuries, including the Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Normans, and Spanish, among others. In this video, we are going to talk about top 15 most beautiful places to visit in Sicily. Before starting the video, kindly subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. 1. Palermo Palermo is the regional capital of Sicily and boasts an international airport. If you're flying into Sicily, then you'll either arrive either here or in Catania. Sitting in the middle of the north coast, Palermo is an authentic and somewhat gritty city, not adapted for tourists, but instead providing a taste of what local Sicilian life is all about. Give Palermo a chance though, and you'll find a number of gems. Like most Italian cities, Palermo is home to impressive churches, including the cathedral from which you can climb up to the rooftop for amazing views over the city. Palermo is also known for its street food, and the city is home to a number of markets serving an array of fresh produce. The markets are also the perfect place to start sampling all the Sicilian specialties, such as Arancini, Granita, and Canolo, and a good place to have an aperitivo in the early evening. Talking of which, if you're looking for lively nightlife, Palermo is the place to be. Wander around at night and you'll find the streets packed with people, especially in the area around Vuxeria Market. Whether you fancy a craft beer, trendy cocktails, or live music, there is something for everyone here. 2. Cefalu Whether you take a day trip here from Palermo or choose to stay for a bit longer, Cefalu is a charming little fishing town which definitely deserves a visit. With whitewashed buildings sitting above clear blue water and colorful fishing boats, Cefalu is like a postcard picture. And with a popular sandy beach and small cobbled streets lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants, Cefalu is a place where you can just relax and take it easy. For those looking for a bit more, visit the Norman Cathedral and then climb to the top of La Rocca for spectacular views over Cefalu and the coast. 3. San Vito Lo Capo to the west of Palermo lies the seaside town of San Vito Lo Capo. Popular with Italian tourists looking for a beach holiday, San Vito boasts one of the best sandy beaches on the island. After the long hot beach days, there are also a number of hikes to points perfect for watching the sunset. Close by is the lighthouse sitting at the end of the promontory, but if you're after a bit more of a challenge, then take the one-hour hike to the top of Monte Monaco for stunning views of the entire bay. Arguably the best view, however, can be seen from inside Grotta del Cavallo, or Horse Cave, where you'll have the unique opportunity to see the sunset framed by the cave opening. 4. Favignana Island In amongst the Egeti Islands lies Isola di Favignana, a popular spot for a day trip and easily accessible by ferry from Trapani. Favignana is known for having some of the clearest and bluest water in Sicily, and the best way to explore the beaches and best swimming spots is to rent a bicycle and cycle around the island. Starting at the port going clockwise, visit Calarosa, Bu Marino, Cala Azza, and finally Cala Rotunda. 5. Ragusa Sicily is home to a number of Baroque cities, all of which are worth a visit, but if you want to base yourself in one for a night, or two, then Ragusa is your best choice. Split into two hillside towns, Ragusa Superior and the old town of Ragusa Ibla, walking between the two requires a lot of steps up and down, there is a bus if you prefer. However, it's worth it though when you see the amazing views of Ragusa Ibla from the hillside. Ragusa also provides a good base for day trips in the area. Nearby Modica provides more Baroque architecture, but perhaps more of a reason to visit is to try some of the speciality chocolate produced here. The chocolate is dairy-free, which gives it a more grainy texture than usual, but also the unique flavor makes it famous worldwide. 6. Syracuse Syracuse is a charming city lying on the southeast coast of Sicily. A historically significant city, Syracuse is home to the archaeological park Nepolis, which includes the impressive Roman amphitheater. However, even if archaeology isn't your thing, 
you'll still want to pay Syracuse a visit to see the beautiful old town on Ortigia Island. Connected to Syracuse by bridges, Ortigia Island is a place to wander. With tons of little alleyways to get lost down, you can easily spend a day strolling around the town, visiting the local market, and stopping in one cafe after another for an Aperol spritz or a Sicilian pastry. 7. Catania Catania, also the first photo, is Sicily's second largest city and is perhaps a bit more refined than its counterpart Palermo. With a wide central boulevard running all the way from the main square to the city park of Villa Bellini and stunning views of MT Etna dominating the skyline, Catania has it all. There's even a nice sandy beach just south along the coast. In the morning visit the bustling fish market, which has been around for hundreds of years and is now surrounded by cafes serving up freshly caught fish. In the main square of Piazza Duomo, you'll find the cathedral as well as a number of other impressive buildings. Whilst these balls of deliciousness can be found all over Sicily, the Arancino in Catania is cone-shaped, not round, in homage to M.T. Etna. Filled with delicious rich ragu, when you bite the top off, the steam escaping is said to resemble the volcano. If you want to base yourself in one place for the duration of your stay in Sicily, then Catania is ideal as Terramina, M.T. Etna. 8. M.T. Etna if you're in Sicily, then you need to take the opportunity to visit MT Etna, the most active volcano in Europe. There are many options to visit depending on your budget and the level of activity you want to undertake. You can also visit from the south, Catania, or the north, Terramina, although public transport is only available from Catania. So for those visiting on a budget, you can simply take the bus from Catania. There is one bus a day leaving from the train station at 8.15 a.m. and costs just 6 euro return. The return bus is at 4.30 p.m. giving you a full day on the volcano. The bus drops you at Etna's Refugio Sapienza, 2000 m above sea level, and from here you can walk up. Otherwise, there is the option to take the cable car to 2500 m, 30 euro return, and or then a 4x4 Jeep to 2900 m, 30 euros return. However, all those options only allow you to reach 2900M, so if you want to visit the summit of 3329M then you'll need to take a guided tour. 9. Terramina A couple of hours north of Catania lies Terramina, probably Sicily's most famous resort. Sitting on a hillside high above the sea, Terramina boasts stunning views of the Sicilian coast and in particular of Isola Bella, a small island connected to the mainland by a small strip of pebbles. You can spend your days on the beach here swimming and snorkeling in the crystal clear water, or if you prefer a sandy beach then head to the nearby beach of Giardini Naxos. Whilst in Terramina you may also want to visit the Greek amphitheater, which on a clear day provides an amazing photo opportunity of the theater with empty Etna looming in the background. If you want to get out of Terramina and away from the crowds, then take the bus up to the small village of Castelmola. At the top of the hill, even higher than Terramina, it provides amazing views and is a great quiet spot to wander for a couple of hours. 10. The Valley of the Temples in Agrigento The Valley of the Temples, next to the city of Agrigento, is Sicily's best-known archaeological site. It's the number one in terms of visit, before Selenuti Temples and Segesta, I will tell you more about them below. Eight temples are visible in the valley, but the two best preserved are undoubtedly the Temple of Concord and the Temple of Hera. The walk between the temples is very pleasant and easy to do on foot. 11. Scala de Turkey About 20 minutes drive from the Valley of the Temples, the Scala de Turkey is another must-see if your trip to Sicily takes you in this region. This white limestone cliff is famous for its particular shape. It looks like erosion has carved steps. And if you add the turquoise color of the sea and the fine sand beaches that border it, you will understand why Scala de Turkey is a very popular place. Several dozen people gather here at the end of the day to watch the sunset, probably hundreds in high season. 12. Igadian Islands From Trapani, you can leave for a day trip or several days to one of the Igadian Islands. Boats connect Trapani to the island several times a day. The three Igadian islands are Favignana, Lavanzo, and Moretimo. They are all ideal for long walks, bicycle riding, and swimming breaks in beautiful coves. 
and in addition the use of cars is very regulated, so there are almost none. However, if you only have one day to devote to Agadian Islands, I recommend you choose Favignana. Most people then opt for bicycles rental, to be able to see as much as possible in a day. Impossible to get lost, everything is well indicated. The paths have no particular difficulty, except for a few potholes. 13. Aeolian Islands The Aeolian Islands are located in northern Sicily. This volcanic archipelago is made of seven islands plus a few islets and rocks. The best known and therefore the most visited are Lapari, Salina, Volcano, and Stromboli. Each island has its own charm and atmosphere. Lapari is the largest, best served by boats, and therefore it's more animated than its sisters. It also has beautiful beaches. Volcano is also easily accessible. It is famous for its beautiful volcanic landscapes and mud baths. Stromboli, well known thanks to its continuously active volcano. An impressive night show you shouldn't miss. Selena has some beautiful hiking trails and good restaurants to eat after activities. 14. Marsala Wine lovers should head to the beautiful seaside town of Marsala, Sicily's most westerly point, known for its easy, breezy seaside vibe and flavorsome, richly colored, fortified wine. From palm-fringed beaches and kite-surfing schools to charming wineries and superb seafood restaurants, the honey-colored town of Marsala has something for everyone. The picturesque chessboard of salt pans along the shore between Marsala and Trapani is a WWF-protected nature reserve for migratory birds, a real mecca for birdwatchers. Other must-sees around Marsala include the Egedi Archipelago and the Phoenician archaeological site of Motia in the Stagnun Lagoon. 15. The Temple of Segesta Last temple and archaeological site of my Sicily bucket list, the Temple of Segesta. Perched in the middle of the green hills, Segesta Temple dominates the surrounding countryside. Extremely well preserved, it's definitely worth a look if you are in the area. Fun fact, if the temple doesn't have a roof, it's simply because it was never finished. Another vestige you can see on the site is the theater, which is perched at 400 meters above the temple. It's still used in summer to host concerts and theatrical performances. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.